uh, those teachers of the school. You got the board. Yes. Staff. Students. Teachers usually. Okay, that's how it generally works. Yes. The board of a group of people, maybe five or six, they control the money. Board of trustees, they sort of look after the school. They appoint the principal, they appoint the teachers. Yeah. Very, very unusual. Never heard of this before. Okay. Um, the state was a was unheard of in his company. In other words, never been a mistake like this had never been done in his company. Okay. Students learning is unheard of when students learning English understand everything. Okay? Very unusual. But the idea of very unusual hasn't been heard, hasn't been sort of done before. Here it says, uh, I, I think a lot of these reviews, especially with schools, unbiased, okay, especially in schools where there's a lot of Maori and Pacific Island students, they get special treatment, okay, and they don't in my opinion, they don't, they're not taught well, and the students, most of the students don't care, okay? They don't really want to learn. So, I have, I don't know what the full story is, because I don't follow schools, mm. don't have any kids, so I don't follow schools. But it seems to me, Apua's in Northland, Northland's mainly Maori, maybe some Samoans up there. Most of them are poor families, don't have a lot of money. It seems to me that the, the ERO did a review of the school, saying it was all messed up. Which I quite pos which I believe, but because it's Maori, and and this this MP is Maori, uh, they did they don't like they don't like it being said as bad. Yeah. They want it it's Maori, so it's got to be good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, like I said, I don't know the full story, but my experience is telling me that they're trying to cover up a school that is not doing well, and. Because the ERO told the truth, these people don't like it. Okay, and it's not happened just with Opua; it's happened with other Maori schools too, and schools with a lot of Maori and Pacific Islanders. Okay, they get a lot of money from the government because of Maori and Pacific Islanders, and they don't use it properly; they spend it. Okay, so like I said, I don't know. I've never read the report. I have no interest in reading the report. But my instinct is telling me Maori are upset, and I'm assuming it's Maori, because that's there that most people that live up there. Maori are upset because they got a bad review. And they're always trying to say they uh, don't deserve a bad review. Right? Whenever I hear reports that Maori and Islanders are doing very well in the NCA, I get very, very suspicious. I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. They're passing, but they're passing because they're getting hell of a lot of help from the teachers. Some teachers are giving them the exams, okay? And that's been proven. That's been proven, okay? And I see, I, I live in St. John's and it's near East Tamaki College, which is 99% Maori and Islander. And I see those kids leaving that school, after school, no school bags, no books, nothing, okay? So what are they doing, you know? And yet they're supposed to be doing very well. I don't believe it. I don't believe it at all. The numbers are, are fixed because they don't want to, the government doesn't want to say bad things about Maori and Maori want the money. So they, it, it's, it's a mess. It's, it's a mess that New Zealand's got itself into, okay? Uh, there should be one, there's two standards here. One for Pākehā, one for Māori, and it's very, very different standards, okay? And in my opinion, there shouldn't be, okay? So I have no doubt in my mind that that school was messed up. The board said it was, but the, everybody else is upset because they said it was bad. 
Okay? And that's my opinion. That's what I think. Thank you.